Have you ever wanted a name brand wig? You know, those expensive ones, the brands that you have to save and save forever to finally afford. What if you could buy one of those, but used a used wig that's still of super high quality, basically still looks brand new, but at a lower price than if you purchased it brand new. I personally find this intriguing. Have you ever heard of the website called Silk or Lace? What makes this website different from all the rest is that they believe sustainability matters Matters. Their website is essentially a consignment marketplace featuring lightly worn pieces and also their own collection, silk or lace. You can actually use their website to sell your own lightly worn wigs. And I love this. Like if you have a wig that you don't wear anymore, you can go to their website and work with them. They have two different types of services. They have concierge, which is essentially where they do all the work for you. They will shoot the professional photos and videos of your piece. And also, all you would have to do is fill out the application form. If you guys head over to the website and click on sell your hair piece, you'll be able to find both of the services that they offer. And the other one is called do it yourself. So that's essentially you list your own wig piece yourself, but you use their website, which gets a bunch of views. So you're more likely to sell your wig that way. I love this so much because there is such a need for this. I also love that they have such empathetic customer service. You will always be put in touch with somebody who has experience wearing wigs or toppers. In fact, the founder that created Silk or Lace did so because of her own experience with alopecia and wearing wigs and toppers for hair loss. Their promise is to always sell pieces that they'd actually wear themselves or they would gift to loved ones. So today we're going to see if that's true and open the box of wigs that they sent me. By the way, I will not be keeping any of these wigs that you see today in this video. And once you see this video, these exact wigs will be up on the website for sale. They were owned by somebody else after all. And if they're wig sells, they deserve to be paid for it. There's only one of each of these. So if you wanted to get your hands on one of these that you see in the video today, Today, please make sure you head down to the description of this video. The website will be linked there and use my discount code to get some money off. This first piece that I'm wearing on my head today is called Elizabeth and the brand is called Stacked Hair. The color description for it is a neutral shadow root into a buttery dimensional blonde with low lights. And I definitely see that here, guys. This color is so beautiful. It's a little on the warmer side. So if you love warm blondes, this color and this style may suit you. It's an 11 to 14 inch layered with 11 inches of face framing pieces. The cap size is a small at a 21 circumference. I actually have a 21 circumference, so this wig fits me so well. I wouldn't need to wear a wig grip underneath, although I am currently for the purpose of this video for extra security. But if you have a head circumference like me, you wouldn't need to wear anything underneath and it would fit you so well. This wig has a lace top with a lace front, which means you get multi-directional parting. There's actually quite a big parting area. The hair type is Brazilian and this type of hair is going to dry straight after you wash it. As you can see, this wig looks brand new and that's because it is. The original tags are actually still attached. I guess the owner didn't wear it. She owned it for about nine months and never took off the tags. Love this lace top. It actually looks like a realistic part. Now the lace top goes from here to about here. That's a good parting space that you get. I really like the length of this wig. This is actually my preferred length for wigs because I find that it doesn't get tangled in my clothes. It doesn't get tangled in my jackets. It stays softer for longer. So I really enjoy this look. Although the knots have not been bleached, they're super tiny and so hard to see, which is great. They're single knots, like single tied. So that means these knots are gonna look really realistic and natural. This is the lace front and the lace top. So this is your parting space and then the rest is wefted and you do have adjusters at the nape of the neck And we have two clips on the side where the ear tabs are But I didn't use them when I had it on and you definitely don't have to but if you wanted extra security They are here. I looked it up on Google to try to get the right pronunciation Anyways, this is a gorgeous wig and there is a lot of hair here. So let me just show you You have to want a lot of hair. I think the color is stunning Like I don't think I've tried on a wig that's this dark before so I'm looking at myself in the mirror here and I think it looks good against my skin tone um, 
but it is very thick, just so beautiful. Because this is human hair, guys, and not a synthetic long wig, what that means is it's not going to tangle as easily as a long synthetic would. The color of this wig is said to be a medium brown with caramel highlights throughout. It is a layered wig with 12 to 13 inch face framing pieces. The cap size is a medium 22 inch. I'm a 21 inch circumference, so I find this wig a little big on me, but with a wig grip underneath, I'm finding that it's fitting just fine. So because of that, I would say that this wig does fit like a true size medium. This wig is a lace top with a lace front, which means multi-directional parting. So you can part your hair in any direction and it's going to look natural. The hair type is Mongolian. So when you wash this hair, it's going to dry straight. The owner of this wig said that it was very loved, but it was only owned for about three months. And even though the knots on this wig are not bleached, they are are single hand tied knots. They're super small and tiny. There are spots with glue on the lace front that I noticed but that can easily be washed off. When you wash your wig, just rub on the glue spots and I'm sure they're gonna come right off. And there are some hairs that stick up. They're called return hairs, but that can be patted down with a wax stick or a hot comb. Overall, the hair quality of this wig, I would say is in good condition. The inside of the cap, we have the beautiful lace front, the lace top, the back is wefted. You have adjusters on the back and you have the ear tabs with stays in them so that it is a glueless look and it's not gonna move around on your head. Have a look at this one. This wig is called Princess by Milano. This is a silk top. So what you're going to see at the front is a bit of lace that has been trimmed. It has been worn previously. And then it goes into a silk top. And a silk top is very different than lace. And what that essentially means is you're going to get a look of scalp where you part the hair. Your parting space is decent here. It's from here to about here. So you could go and take the hair, although it has been styled so it's a little difficult to maneuver but as you can see you can make the part wherever you want it to be within the area given to you and you're going to see scalp because it's a silk top. The color is described to have a medium dark blonde root that moves into a dimensional ashy golden blonde with a blend of warm dark golden and lighter blonde. The cap size is considered to be a small at 21 and a quarter circumference. Other than the silk portion at the top, you're gonna find wefts underneath, which I'll show you when I take the cap off my head. The hair type is considered to be premium Remy human hair. So this is the best quality of hair that you can possibly get. What I've noticed with this wig is that at the top from the roots going to about halfway down, the hair is very, very smooth and soft, but the ends of the wig are pretty dry. But I feel like when you go to wash the wig, if you apply a deep conditioner and let it sit on the hair for a little bit and then wash it out, I think it's going to be super easy to bring back that moisture allowing the ends to not feel as dry and in turn feel softer. The owner owned this wig for about two months, so it is considered to be like new. The seller actually purchased it secondhand and never wore this piece. The knots have not been bleached on this piece and there is some wear and tear overall inside of the cap with a bit of discoloration, but it's not visible on the outside. Overall, the quality of this wig, I would say is in good condition. Here's that lace front we talked about. Obviously it's been cut. And and then there is this big comb right at the front, which I didn't use, but you could tuck it into your wig grip. And then you have the ear tabs, which have a clip on it that you can use if you want extra security, but you don't have to use it. And then right here is where that silk top sits. This next wig is a Velvet Luxe lace top wig in the color dark chocolate brown. The brand is Tresses by Jules, and this dark chocolate brown is about a level three. I would say this wig fits like a true size medium as it was a little big on my own head. Because it's a lace top with a lace front and has the silk velvet lining, not only is it going to feel super comfortable, but you are also gonna get multi-directional parting. So what that means is you can part your hair in any direction on the top of your head, and it's going to look realistic with the natural parting. The hair type of this one is European and because it's European hair each hair strand will be finer in diameter in comparison to the typical Indian or Chinese or Brazilian hair types making it a popular choice for those wanting to achieve a finer haired Caucasian look. This hair will dry straight after being washed and it was owned for about three months so basically it's new. When you part your wig anywhere 
you're going to see scalp. It's going to look real. It's going to look like head. I couldn't see any split ends when I inspected it earlier on and the ends are soft as well. This hair does not feel dry. It feels very well moisturized, well nourished, well hydrated. As you can see here, the lace has been uncut along with the silk lining underneath has also been uncut. So if you purchase this wig, you would have to cut it yourself, which is easy. Knots have been lightly bleached in some areas near the front of the hairline with some spots that have not been bleached. And for the rest of the lace top, the knots are not bleached. Overall, this hair feels amazing. It looks amazing, and I would consider this to be in great condition. All of the links to all of these wigs that I wore in this video today, guys, will be down in the description for your convenience. And remember that if you go to each wig, even if it's not these, like you can look at all of them. When you click on them, every single wig will have a description and Silk or Lace is very honest, very open, and tells you exactly what to expect from each wig. Like if the hair is dry, they're gonna say that. So if you wanted to purchase a human hair wig that's been used, used or you want to check out the silk or lace collection because they have their own collection then i would definitely recommend their site and definitely recommend them if you want to see how i cut off my lace front on my human hair wigs then click this video here and if you guys want to see how i wear my own human hair wigs out in public click on this vlog here and of course if you have any questions whatsoever please put them down in the comment section because i read all of them and i will get back to you thank you so much for being here with me again today and i will see you next time Take care, guys.